Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. Al Sudani's proposition of 1.32 as the potential exchange rate for the Iraqi dinar has sparked widespread anticipation within financial circles. The echoes of this suggestion find resonance in the stance of the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, aligning with the trajectory seen in Vietnam's economic journey. Vietnam's accession to the World Trade Organization, WTO, in 2007, coupled with a comparable exchange rate, serves as a compelling precedent for Iraq's potential integration into global trade mechanisms. Despite Vietnam's less favorable exchange rate compared to Iraq's, its participation in both the Forex market and the SWIFT system underscores the feasibility of Iraq's inclusion in these platforms. The absence of Iraq from the SWIFT system presents a notable disparity, especially when juxtaposed with Vietnam's active presence. Yet, the parallels between the two nations, particularly in terms of WTO membership, suggest a plausible pathway for Iraq's integration into international financial networks. The exchange rate discourse, coupled with the anticipation emanating from various sources, underscores the significance of forthcoming developments in Iraq's financial landscape. Alani's advocacy for a 1 to 1.32 exchange ratio between the US dollar and the Iraqi dinar reflects a nuanced understanding of potential market dynamics. The envisaged adjustment in exchange rates, coupled with considerations of real effective exchange rates based on Iraq's assets, signifies a strategic approach towards currency valuation. However, amidst the optimism, there exist challenges, notably from quarters seeking to impede reconstruction efforts. The assurance of WTO principles fostering currency liberalization holds promise for Iraq's economic trajectory. Sudani's intent to engage with Washington to address banking restrictions reflects a proactive stance towards overcoming hurdles in financial transactions. The recent sanctions imposed by the U.S. Treasury on Iraqi banks underscore the intricacies of navigating international financial frameworks. Prime Ministerial engagements with the U.S. Treasury signal a concerted effort to negotiate new exchange rates and navigate currency-related issues effectively. The discourse surrounding the utilization of uncirculated dinar notes in private placement programs highlights strategic considerations in currency management. The planned issuance of new dinar notes as bonds underscores a multifaceted approach towards leveraging Iraq's currency assets. These notes, with specific serial numbers, are poised to play a pivotal role in unregulated trading platforms, indicating Iraq's intent to explore diverse avenues for capitalizing on its currency reserves.